Entering this fall, Liberty Flames tailback DJ Abner knew that he would be responsible for the lion's share of the workload in the backfield. As the season has progressed, the depth at running back has been cut in half due to injury, putting an extra onus on the junior from Tallahassee, Florida. Never to back down from a challenge, DJ Abner has proved he's a player the Liberty Flames can count on. Coming out of Lincoln High School in Tallahassee, Florida, DJ Abner had more offers than just Liberty to pick from. Wanting to make a name for himself, he decided to play football for the Flames. I want to say I want to build my own legacy. I want to start something new. I want to kind of put a certain team on a map. DJ dreamed of playing for the Miami Hurricanes, and when those plans didn't materialize, he was then tipped off about Liberty from his uncle. My uncle was like, hey, maybe you should look at my old alma mater. I was like, uh, Liberty? You know, I was like, he was like, yeah, I know you got bigger schools or whatnot for defense, but what about running back? You ever thought about playing running back at the next level? And uh, I thought about it, but I never really, you know, got into it until my senior year. Uh, the first time we met him, uh, of course, you know, when he came on his visit, um, you know, him and his family drove up from Florida, and uh, it was a really you know, energizing moment because we had had a lot of good conversations on the phone and, and now we get a chance to meet in person. So, uh, you know, me and him kind of clicked. Used primarily as a special teams player as a true freshman in 2012, Adner's role increased last season as a backup to Desmond Rice. After Rice injured a knee in spring ball, causing him to miss this season, DJ was elevated to the top of the running back depth chart. Sees in the moment, Adner has savored every opportunity. I knew it was my time that I had to step up. Uh, no matter how, no matter what the load was, I needed to do whatever I had to do to make sure I stayed healthy and to make sure I stayed eligible, to make sure I stayed focused, all of those things. I couldn't let distraction get to me. A player's only good as his last game, and all DJ did last week in a win over Monmouth was rush for a career-high 164 yards on a career-high 39 carries. You know, you give a guy the ball that much, you know, he kind of gets into a flow and, and uh, you know, it just it was good stuff for us on Saturday night and, you know, he felt good and, you know, he didn't ask to come out and, and uh, you know, it's always good when your running back wants to keep rolling with it too, so uh, proud of him. DJ Abner has an unparalleled passion for the game of football and it rubs off on his teammates. You always want somebody that, that loves football. You want to have like teammates that love football, but DJ loves football. Like, I mean, you might see him like in, in the tunnel before games. I mean, he's just pointing out. I don't know who he's pointing to, but he's just rocking side to side. I'm like, you know what, this, this guy loves the game. I think about the, the team that I'm playing for in the school and what we stand for, and it means a lot. So I feel like if I put out that much effort on the football field, then everybody else will feed off of who I am and what I, you know, how I feel about this game. And we, we'll win. Four game on, I'm Alan York.